And the Rasta is a thing where I talk about the rightness of people who live. Yellow, pink, blue, all kind of people. It's not even a question. It's a reality. The way the world economic structure is ordered, set in motion, it's based, a great deal of that is based upon racism. When you look at the exploitation of so-called third world countries or countries of people of color. When you look at what America represents itself, it was racism. So racism is a very integral part of what's going on. You know, go back and find the numbers. Where we are dealing with hard economic and social issues. You know, what percentage of people own all the wealth of the planet? And of that percentage of people, what color are they? And in relationship to the total population, what percentage <laughs> does that number of people represent? And there's a vast disparity. That's why you have extreme wealth and extreme poverty. And if one just deals with reality, you know, obviously, you know, uh, this century's technologic um, civilization exists where it does. Because of the gold they found on, on the people of the land of this hemisphere. And this is, uh, this is color. <laughs> you know? Now, the whites may have done it amongst themselves before they came here. All right? Well, then maybe then it wasn't race. <laughs> but when they did it to us, it was race. <laughs> and when they did it to the black people and they did it to the Asian. To me, all type of knowledge ultimately means self-knowledge. Here I am, you know, as, as a human being. How can I express myself totally and completely? I know who I came to be and I have to be me. You know, I mean, that way it's a process of continuing growth. That is to me the most important thing, and that is how can I, in the process of learning how to use my body, to understand myself? I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as like a Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting because unless human beings have three arms and four legs, really, to me, okay, to me, ultimately martial art means honestly expressing yourself. Now it is very difficult to do. But to express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself honestly, you know, that, my friend, is <laughs> the successful ingredient in it was because I was being Bruce Lee uh, myself. I said, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. You know what I want to think of myself? As a human being. Because under the sky, under the heaven, man, there is but one family. It just so happened, man, that people are different. When they did it to the people of color, it was race. You know, it's not just economic, it's race. It's economics based upon race. And this is what we are faced with. And this is a reality. Now, when we come to Washington in this campaign, we are coming to get our check. So basically, the entire structure we, that we live in now is based upon, we, we've been, we're indoctrinated and programmed, all right, to perceive reality through a white racially based uh, subservient system to God, a male God. And that's what we see here in other parts of the world. Uh, it's some other type of subservient system to their, re to their religion's <laughs> male God. You know, it affects everything. The man that was so humble sometimes I feel embarrassed to see how humble they was. They would smoke the herb of the earth. And would smoke until his eyes become as red as a flaming fire. See, but even though his eyes 
he'd be so red. From his mouth cometh the words of wisdom. That would be so uplifting. Out of this dark continent, from Fort Prophet, so a message that we brought to her is come together, sister, brother, time gliding on. Said I hear the words of a higher man Don't I make it plain? Yes. Don't you understand now? You asked me, you asked me some pretty, you asked me some pretty tough questions, but didn't I make a lot of sense? I didn't, no. I didn't make the Christians hate me. I didn't make the Protestants hate me. I didn't make the Catholics hate me. I told you the truth. I said all of them are good if they live it. It's just the people who don't live it. So I chose the Islamic path. That's a, religion is a touchy thing. Religion. Very few people can see. I, some people, you sound a Muslim. Don't want to hear you. Some people you say I'm a Protestant, pow pow. You say I'm a Catholic, pow pow. All of them are right. All of them are from God. All of them are good and teach good. It's just the people in the titles that make you prejudiced. But all of them got the same. It says one God, but there are many roads to that God. You understand? This is the power of this. You see me do this, you call me the greatest. That's because I'm more religious than I am physical and I study a lot. And you may be surprised if you hear me talk because you never heard me talk this way. But I know about, I got about 45 lectures that I memorized in my ministry. And I can tell you something about all the religious books, all the religions, because I have a strong belief in God and humanity. That's why I'm helping these boys. That's why God blesses me to be so great here. Because all the time I've been here, I've been talking about God, pushing God, pushing religion. I'm not talking about me, how great I am, how much money I got. He said I'm the greatest, but that's something Allah I don't use no more. You know, Allah, no, Allah is the greatest. God is the greatest. I'm not. I'm not going to help nobody get something my Negroes don't have. If I'm going to die, I'll die now, right here fighting you. If I'm going to die, you my enemy. Not Viet Cong or Chinese or Japanese. You my opposer when I want freedom. You my opposer when I want justice. You my opposer when I want equality. You won't even stand up for me in America for my religious beliefs. And you want me to go somewhere and fight, but you won't even stand up for me here at home. He won't stand up for what I believe now. So you won't fight. And no matter what you think of Mr. Muhammad Ali's religion, certainly have to admire his courage. And there's a deep difference between mature courage, adolescent bravery, and naive audacity. If you have the courage to still connect your life and art to political engagement, then things are always already messy. You're always going to make certain judgments that you call into question later. I don't say this to justify because there's a hunger not just here but around the world. That right now the American empire is in such crisis that people are concerned about those voices in America that are willing to talk about truth and justice in ways that are not just aesthetically pleasing but also intellectually unsettling. I'm always giving the praise to God. So that's why I'm as great as I am in this physical world because I push him first. Be proud of our heritage. But right now we need to just focus on what happens here on the planet and help each other and, and stop fighting over my God and your God, you know. It doesn't make any difference. You know? The bully, that's the establishment, of, they know how to beat people up, they know how to gas them, and they have the, they have the arms and the equipment. And the mistake was made that the kids ended up playing their game of violence you know and they know how to be violent they've been running it on violence for 2,000 years or, or a million or whatever it is and nobody can tell me that violence is the way after all that time you know there must be another way but a lot of people fell for it 
And it's understandable in a way, because when the bully's actually right there, it's pretty hard to say, uh, turn the other cheek, baby. Maybe some tear gas ahead. Yeah. Don't panic and remember that we must remain true to nonviolence. I'm asking everybody, if you can't be nonviolent, don't get in it. If you can't accept blows without retaliating, don't get in You will somehow do it in a non-violent way. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Um, if you have anger, that will, that, that will just, it will, it will support the agendas of the, the, mm. the people who are trying to have power over you. But, but this is, again, this is a very temporary thing. Mm. All this fighting and all this suppression is temporary. And even if you don't do anything outwardly, it, the change it will still take place. The birth of the new world, not the new world order of like Bush, but the new world will still happen very shortly. How long? Not, not, long. Long. not long. Because my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Yes, He's trampling out the bitches where the grapes of wrath are stored. Yes, sir. Yes.